G'day guys, welcome back to another video. We are over on the York Peninsula this week. Yep, sure am. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, I don't think you can even see it. <laughs> I was we, like, you can see a little fort. We are over on the York Peninsula at the moment, uh, just out of Wallaroo, uh, just lapping up the beach uh, in this beautiful weather. A bit windy. Yeah, a little bit windy. But, we're just uh, on North Shore at the moment, and yeah. then we're going to head down to, to Para Rocks tonight to camp. Yeah, just a campsite um, we found on Wikicamp, yeah. so hopefully that has the goods um but yeah we're really keen to do a bit of a a lap of of the copper coast um another beautiful stretch of south australian coastline so um a couple of breweries and a couple of wineries and a couple of distilleries to check out along the way and some hopefully some pretty awesome beach camping so should be good we're keen as what do you reckon let's go hit the road yeah. hit the road let's go So we have arrived at our camp, uh, different to where we said. So we're going to go to Tapara Rocks, but we ended up. Um, what do we call this one? The bamboos. Bamboos. That's right. Now, not all campsites have beautiful, pretty views. Unfortunately, uh, as we said earlier, it's pretty windy, um, and the winds picked up for us uh, this afternoon. So, some campsites just have to be practical. So this one's got a little bit more shelter. We're tucked away. A bit. Uh, behind the dunes, it's still pretty breezy, but yeah, so it's meant to drop down overnight, um, and then the next few days are meant to be pretty nice. So. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, so we're just gonna hide out and uh, have a bit of tea, chill. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll get up and get our day, a couple of days of exploring gone, so it's really good. Yeah. Um, Tapara rocks look really good. Yeah, it did. It was right it was just on the water. Super exposed. Yeah, the water wind was just coming straight off the ocean, yeah. and smashing straight in the campsite. So, yeah, we'll uh, try there, try there again another time. Yeah. 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 Mm. Ah, big sook, isn't he? Big sook. All right, time for a beer. So I forgot to mention uh, camping on the York Peninsula. So there's a whole lot of campsites that are run by the council. I looked after and maintained by the council. Um, and to camp, it's 10 bucks a night at most of the campsites. Um, well, all the council run campsites. And you just buy a permit online, you just do it through the York Peninsula um, Council page. Um, pretty easy. Um, do it before you get in. So, this campsite doesn't have any phone reception at all. So, um, we did it before we went. So, three nights, I think I paid up front three nights, 30 bucks. So, um, yeah, is what it is. Um, most of the campsites are. Apparently well looked after, so hopefully it can stay that way and people can look after it. As we said, it was uh, it's pretty windy out there. Mm. Um, feel like your legs are getting sandblasted. Yeah. Um, so we retreated up up to the rooftop, the bush company, and um, we're gonna 
put on some some prison break. What do you guys do? Let us know in the comments below. What do you guys do uh, when you're trying to get out of the weather? Is it card games, board games, a bit of Netflix? Yeah, let us know. If we uh, we're looking forward to getting the the side walls for our awning so that we could block that off and make that a separate room. So that'd be nice. But yeah, otherwise we'll hide up here and Sound have good. an early night maybe. Yeah. All good. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Morning. We've uh, just shot down the road. So this is where we're going to camp at Tapara Rocks. Um, but the wind was coming straight off the ocean and bashing us. So. We headed out to the Bamboos, which is oh, it was about six minutes drive down the coast um, and tucked ourselves away from the sand dunes. But we come down here for brekkie, colour pancakes and a coffee, um, but beautiful stretch of coast. We'll uh, swing around and have a, have a look. Well, after a lovely little pancake and coffee brekkie at Tipara Rocks, where we were meant to camp the other night, we are just going for a bit of a drive down the coast. So, um, from about Gowan Lookout, there's a couple of sort of tracks you can take down along the coastline. It's pretty specky. Um, and Jess is having a ball. <laughs> nah, it's um, should be a beautiful day. The wind's died down, so it's only like. Beautiful breeze, love it. Hopefully we'll have a ripping day today. And we can uh, just lap up the best of the evening, the YP. <laughs> the YP, the YP, the YP. Uh, tonight we're gonna stay either one or two places. That's the beauty of the, uh, of the York Peninsula. A lot of the campsites are fairly close together. So uh, from here, it's only another hour and a bit onto the next site. Um, and there's another one only a half an hour past that one. Um, so we're just gonna see which one's better, to be honest. So we've got Portman and Clowey and another one, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, Wiki Camps is your friend for those, or you can go on the York Peninsula Council website. They've got a bit of a map there of um, all, the, all the sites you can, you can get into. We were gonna to go to Sunny Hill Distillery today, but it's shut, uh, so it's a bit of a bummer. Um, but we are planning on heading out to um, the brewery, uh, which should be really nice, um, on Wednesday. So looking forward to that, it should be really good. So, um, fingers crossed. Otherwise, let's uh, let's go find a ripping spot to chuck a line in, sit back and enjoy the colour froffies. Colour Tuesday afternoon froffies would be nice. All right, we'll uh, keep going. A little lunch spot. Where are we? I don't know. What a beautiful day on the York Peninsula. Beautiful. Loving it. So we're just at Waralti Beach, which is just another campsite we found on um, Wiki Camps. Um, we'll come down here for lunch on our way down to another campsite that we're going to stay at. And there's probably, what, 10 k's of beach? Plus, yeah. So you can go, so you can drive down on the beach and then either side of the beach you can um, 
Yeah, drive and just chill out. I'm not sure about camping, but it looks like the tide comes up a fair way. Uh, but on a low tide, you probably could sneak it in. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was a bushfire here um, over New Year's because someone bloody <laughs> left a campfire going from all reports and uh, yeah, burnt out all the campsites um, behind the sand dunes. So uh, the beach is really pretty, yeah, um, but yeah, the campsites on the other side of the sand dunes didn't look so great. So. No, so we're just driving down the coast, down the beach. Whoa, bit of seaweed. Bit of seaweed. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we're gonna just see if we can find an exit off the beach later on and tickle on our way through to Barker's Rocks is where we might stay tonight. Yeah. Just see the beauty, of, as I said before, the beauty of like campsites being so close together is if one's full up or no good, you just move on to the next one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go for a swim. Look at that! Delicious. Oh. <laughs> Good to go. Good to go. <laughs> Nailed it. Nah, the water is so warm out here. It's going to be so delicious. Cane jar? Yeah, boy. But what a beautiful day it's been here at Barker's Rocks. What a ripper. Yeah. It's been beautiful. It's been really nice. Spent the day lapping it up, having a swim. The water was so warm. Yeah. yeah it was gorgeous. So good. We're just cooking up some steak singers with some bacon and egg and yeah. a bit of lettuce. It's just that marinated minute steak. It's so yeah. good. So it's quick. It's quite good. But yeah, we parked down there before lapping it up. We've just pulled up out the way so we can... Yeah, not get washed away in the middle of the night. <laughs> We're so. not here tomorrow morning, you know where we are. Yeah, nah, we'll be, <laughs> we should be all good. The tide didn't come in till midday, so now nah, we're all good, but lap this up and a frothy and a... Yeah. Yep. Pretty good. Keen. Easy. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Good morning. We've woken up with a bit of a bit of cloud cover out here. Looking, looking threatening, but that's all right. All good. Good night's sleep. B and E on the uh, on the islands. The old gas stove and uh, coffee's on the go. So it's not a bad morning whatsoever. I don't know what the girl's doing. Are you up yet? You awake? No, <laughs> she's making the bed. Beautiful. All right, let's get going. We're off to the brewery today, and then down further along the foot, somewhere like Gravel Bay or something like that. We'll just see what the weatherman weather's meant to pick up again. With the wind, I should say, which is a big downer. But yeah, I thought we got over all the wind in 2020, but 2021 sounds like it's going to be just as windy. All right, let's have a good day. We're getting it all. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Rain and then we're gonna get wind. She's pretty dark out there. Mm. Very muggy. Actually, muggy's not the right bed. No, it is muggy. muggy. <laughs> it is a bit sticky. Because the cloud, like it was still pretty warm last night and then yeah. the cloud must have come over and just a bit of condensation around and yeah. all the rest. But yeah, so. We're just tossing up where we're going to camp tonight because it's going to be like blowing. So about yeah, about one o'clock in the afternoon, the wind's meant to pick right up to yeah, 45 mm. with gusts up to 55. So not real conducive yeah. to being in a tent, rooftop as it is. But yeah, we'll just play by ear. All the campsites around here are 
on the coast. There's a couple of RV parks in town, like in little towns. But yeah, we're gonna head out to um, what's a Cowie Brewery, which is in Midlinton. Um, yes, yeah, so that should be really nice, and that we can do. That'll be out of the wind a bit, so won't be too bad. But yeah, yeah. just try and find a spot. I don't think Jared got much sleep last night. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, like his eyes open. That's it. All right. Let's uh, let's get off the beach and get cracking. What do you say? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So we are at Flattery's F Beach. Fla F Flattery's. Flattery's no, Beach. Flattery's Beach. I think you got to say it with an Irish accent. Say it with an Irish accent, which I can't do, so I'm not gonna. Try. Um, but yeah, now we just pulled back here um, after heading to Point Turton for a bit of morning tea on the beach. Um, you could drive along Flattery's Beach from Harbour Bay to Point Turton. Um, it's just like a really long, shallow beach and. Yeah, at the moment it's low tide, but mm. it's funny at the moment we've got all that weather that we had this morning, all the clouds and rain over that side, <laughs> clear blue skies over here. And a beautiful here, so. day over the other. Yeah, so no wind at the moment, it's just the calm before the storm, I think. Mm. So we'll lap it up while we can, and then yeah. we'll head out to, to what's a cloudy brewery for a bit of lunch and some colour froffies, I reckon. Be nice. What's a clowy? What's a ripper? What? A clowy. Not cowy. You said clowy. Oh. Haven't we chucking an L in there? You have been, yeah. Yeah, right, there you go. What's a What's cowy? What's a cowy? What's a cowy brewing company? Uh, so in the middle. Also, what is a cowy? What is. Huh? What is a cowy? What is a cowy? What do you want about? Well, I set it up on the board and now I can't remember what a cow is. <laughs> oh, the definition of the name. A cow is. A, uh, what a is place a of water. A place of water. A place of water. Yes. Yeah. But beautiful spot. Um, yeah, recommend. They don't do, they've got, so they don't do, they don't have a full time kitchen, but they do food trucks. They didn't have one there today, but they let you bring your own food, which is killer. So we just. Pulled out the Bushman yeah. and bloody Ate some got, some, stuff. got some platter, dipping biscuits, <laughs> dipping biscuits. Um, so that was good. But the beers were really nice. They had yeah. a big selection. They had some ciders and some mm. sours. They were really good. Mm -hmm. Dogs allowed, so that's even better. Mm. Um, well, only if they're cute, but you know. Oh, you know. <laughs> every every dog's cute in their own in their own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a ripping spot. Um, definitely get back there. Mm. Um, and bought a six pack for the road. Yeah. So when there's an time. event on it would be pretty cool. Like they have a stage and everything, so I think bands come and play and then they have food yeah, trucks yeah. and it'd be a How pretty good. cool atmosphere. Yeah. So. No, it was really cool. So um yeah. We could yeah. we're gonna hit the road. The wind's meant to pick up and it's already starting to pick up now. Um we're gonna head out to the spot that we were gonna camp tonight and then just see. If it picks up and it's too windy, yeah. we're just gonna bail. Um, we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna head north. We don't know where we're gonna stop, but yeah, 
it's going to be windy the next few days too so we're not gaining much by hanging around um you know we could no. persist mm. We can persist and make do. It's not going to be enjoyable though. No, it's not. We're going to be hiding in the tent for most of it. So, um, and the clouds going to come over. It's yeah. going to be like low twenties and cloudy yeah. and windy, and it's yeah. just not going to be much fun. So, we might just see how it goes tonight, yeah. and then we'll head off tomorrow. Otherwise, yeah, we'll just make our way and we'll stay somewhere tomorrow night, tonight yeah. inland and go from there. But yeah, yeah, most of the campsites around. The, e, the YP, sorry, the York Peninsula uh, Coastal. There's a couple of RV parks on like the inland town, the farming towns like Middleton, where we are now. Um, but yeah, not a lot otherwise. So. Yeah, what do you reckon? Yep, I'll head down to Gravel Bay and Check, see yeah. what the weather's like. Check out Gravel Bay and, and yeah. hopefully the wind we'll stays away. There. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Easy. All right, so we are not going to stay at Gravel Bay. Um, the wind is smashing straight into the little campsite. It's a nice little campsite though, and a nice little view. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's pretty. Pretty windy. Pretty windy out here, um, and the campsite is a little bit dusty. But um, and dust is not normally our issue, but when it's windy and it's swirling around. It's Nah, she's uh she's a bit of bugger. So we think we might actually we don't know what we're doing. Just gonna drive around and see where we end up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Deary me. Deary Why wind? Deary me. I can put up with a little bit of rain. Try even the something. cold. But But wind wind is just so painful. No. We'll work it out. We'll let you know what we do. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. Well, we haven't parked it. We didn't park it. We're, we've stuck it out. The wind has died down, which is really good because, mm. yeah, when we rocked up, it was a bit breezy. So we're standing just out of Point Turton at just a little reserve, nothing special, um, just a free camp. I don't know. Len so Barker. Len Barker. Len Barker Reserve. reserve yeah. yeah, it's not bad. There's heaps of campsites. If you've got, if you're towing a caravan, plenty of spots here. Um, it'd be nice for a caravan over the other side. We're just going to place tucked away by the trees. Yeah, and, yeah. And we're going to watch the ocean do the oceans thing <laughs> while we enjoy Euros for tea. Yeah. Um, and then we'll head off. Yeah. Uh, this is our this is our little uh, bed bedroom view. So we haven't had a whole heap of time to do a whole heap of stuff over here and the weather's not been overly favourable. There is the Indus National Park which is down near Murray Bay. Mm. Again, we've got bugger lugs, so no can do for us no this time. Um, but that's a nice spot, there's some nice campsites out through that way. Um, and then you can come up the east side of the peninsula through like Edithburg, Ardross and Port Vincent and that sort of stuff. There are some spots up through that way. Really nice too, a bit of coast, but yeah, yeah the wind's just... Playing havoc right across the peninsula, we'll, right through we'll South Australia. We'll come back another day and, and, do more, and do more of the York. Yeah, uh, it's our plan. We, we, do, we do like spending some time here because it is close to Adelaide. Um, yeah, nice spot too. Mm. Good coast, good yeah. fishing. Not that I've, you know. Good fishing by other people. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had really a chance to go fishing this trip, so. No, you haven't is. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's fish there. But mm -hmm. There's hay on that, that point turn jetty 
this morning mm. when we went out from Flatteries. They were stacked of people. Flat out. Yeah, it was nuts. That's a wrap guys. We have had a lovely week on the uh, York Peninsula. Uh, we've had everything. Wind, beautiful weather, sandy rain. beaches, rain. It's been it's been crazy in the five or six days we've been here. So. Uh, we backtracked from uh, Berry Bay back down to Len Barker Reserve. And yeah. it was a, just because it was a bit too windy up at Bay there and yeah. Bay. So, so Gravel Bay is just around the corner, so yeah. normally it would be a beautiful spot because yeah. you are so close to Berry Bay, which is the sort of the surf beach yeah. around here. It was really nice, but it was just the wind it was just coming wind straight at us. So. Yeah, so yeah, we backtracked and we were in two minds. We just thought if it's too windy, we're not going to worry, we're just going to keep going. But we rocked up to Len Barker to check mm -hmm. it out, and it was and flat as a tap. There was no, no wind, wind at all, so it was lovely. We're glad we did because yeah. this morning was beautiful. Yeah, we've shot around. We shot round to um, Point Turn and did yeah. a bit of fishing. Yeah. And we headed back into Middleton on our way home um, to pick up some more beers from What's a Cowie because they were that good. <laughs> uh, and I had too many last, last night and I was night. like, oh dear, I'm going to have to go back. So got back there because that was great. We had their food trucks going, so it was pretty hard to drive away and not stay for another one. But yeah. Yeah, so we're on our way home. We've just dropped into Barley Stacks. Um, but yeah. we just want to let you know if you guys are interested at all or want to know more about the gear that we use or our setup make sure you go jump on our website i'll chuck it down below but wanderingoz.com.au yeah, uh, if you want to keep up to, with where we're at what we're doing follow us on our socials facebook and instagram um, leave comments all and of them. yeah all of them <laughs> leave some comments and feedback below because we love reading it and we love connecting with you guys um, we've run into a couple while we're here mm -hmm. um, people that follow us on the tube and the, and the social so it's really cool to, to run into you guys yeah. and uh, as always if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe we're raring for a big 2021 of you know traveling adventuring and making pushing making and pushing out some pretty cool content for you guys how good <laughs> how yep. good all right, let's patch some kilometers out and we'll, uh, yeah. we'll see you next time. Bye. Ready? One, two, three.